Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a package to open. I'm actually really excited about this. So I, uh, while I was in Portland just a couple of weeks ago, unboxed this. You might remember, this is my uh, Cut Club Cutlery Shop um, XL knife case, the 40 slot one. And right now a bunch of my knives are in other <laughs> packaging so that I can like bring them on hikes with me and stuff. I've, everything that I need to like shoot and stuff that's on my desk is all out of here. But I've been using this knife case and really, really liking it. There's going to be a review on it soon. And then <laughs> a couple of days ago, um, I get a message from Jeff over at Cutlery Shop. And he says that he just got his brand new 20 slot knife cases, which before he did these 40 slot knife cases, he did orange 20 slot ones but now he has come out with more colors of the 20 slot ones and he was super generous and insisted that I let him send me one and so he asked me what color I wanted and uh, I was thrilled he, I got the tan one and we are going to unbox it check it out real quick so I'm gonna use the knife I just unboxed my brand new Vero Axon I'm so stoked about this knife anyway um, in here, we have the 20 slot knife case. Now, the difference isn't just how many knives these cases will hold, and I'll do a video, um, I'll probably review them simultaneously and do like a little bit of a comparison type of thing as I do, but basically, this case will hold 20, which is half as many, but it'll hold longer knives. So, the longest of my knives that I can fit in the 40 knife case is like PM2. So I have a few knives like my Microtech Stitch and uh, like my ZT308 or my ZT620. I've got a few knives that are a little bit on the bigger end of the spectrum and will not fit in that one, or at least it won't close with them in it. So I've got them in a, a like my old case still. So now I'm gonna have all just cut club cases from Cutlery Shop for all my knives, which is exciting and awesome. Plus if I go somewhere where I'm bringing 20 knives or less, this one is more portable because dimensionally it's a little bit smaller and uh, it'll just be nice to have a, a travel case in this size. All right. There's a lot of like, packing peanut things on here so I'm gonna try to not make a huge mess. It's probably not gonna go so well knowing me but all right. There we go. Packing peanuts are off. Now, if you watched my unboxing of the orange case, the 40 slot, uh, you'll have seen Jeff put a ton of like keychains and candy and stickers and pens and stuff in there. Somebody commented on that video and they were a little bit upset because they ordered one as well and they got like a sticker and um, one pen and I don't know if they even got a keychain. I feel like that's a Millie Club thing. If you're in the Millie PM2 Para 3 Club, then I think you just have to put in your notes that you're in there or something like that. Um, but he knows that I am. So anyways, um, that guy thought it was unfair that I didn't say that it was because Jeff was sending this to me as a reviewer that he put all that stuff in there. So here's your warning. Um, this I, I haven't looked in this yet. Still sealed. If there's a lot of candy in it and stuff, then there might be more in it because Jeff and I are friends. <laughs> but... I don't know yet what's going to be in here. Let's take a look. So get these, doing this on a weird angle, get these open and yeah, there's, there's definitely some stuff in here. So we got some silica gel packs, which is nice. I think I've said before, I like to keep these because I've, if I'm shipping a knife, especially a knife in like a kind of corrosive steel, it's nice to be able to just chuck one of those in my shipping boxes. These little bits, of foam are handy to keep if you are putting shorter knives in here. You can kind of pack the slot with some foam so that your shorter knife doesn't sink way down and you have to like use tweezers to get it out. Um, I speak somewhat from experience on that. I have put, like before I gave away my poachy, um, I, <laughs> I put my poachy in the 40 slot one, which isn't even as deep as this, and it was not easy to get the poachy out of it. Got a sticker. Cutlery Shop sticker, excellent. Cutlery Shop card, excellent. Um, Jeff is the freaking best. And then of course, a bunch of lollipops. Now, in here this time, there are not a ton of keychains and pens and stuff, which frankly 
is totally fine. Because at this point, with how many things I've ordered from Jeff and that he sent me and all that, I have a lot of those things just in my drawer. I've got all the keychains and all the stickers and all that stuff. So it's better that it goes to somebody else at this point. But let's check this out. One of the little foam guys went into a slot. So this one is a 40 knife case, or 20 knife case, sorry. And let's see, so the Axon is what I'd consider like a full size knife, but not like an oversized knife. Let's see how that fits. That is excellent. So you can see we've got five rows, four across, and uh, that equals 20 knives. So I think this is gonna be awesome. I really, really like this color. I think the orange on that one is cool, especially because it's like, the cutlery shop color, and I, I just, I dig that. Plus, that knife case isn't something that, like, I'm displaying my knives in, or, you know, like, it's it's just kind of, like, hides in places when I, I pull it out when I'm getting my knives out. I'll, a lot of the time it does sit on my desktop, if I'm being honest, but that's just because I'm too lazy to put it in the drawer that it's supposed to go in. Anyway, um, the bright orange is just kind of, like, fun and different and, like, high-vis, you know, but this tan... Let me close these latches. I think is a little more like my actual style, which is pretty cool. I might end up putting some stickers on here or something, but this is really, really cool. He did uh, this run. He did tan like this. He did OD green, which I almost picked. OD green is also kind of my thing. <laughs> it's close. It's like really 50-50 between this and that. And then he did black and I think gray. I'm pretty sure there are four color options on these. Um, I'll link down below. On this video to the section on the site where these are listed so that you can check them out i'll also just link to cutlery shop in general and to his instagram and uh yeah check them out if you haven't cutlery shop is awesome um jeff and his small team over there they're really cool people <laughs> they're like pleasant to talk to they care about their people they're part of the community and uh jeff also has been like in the industry for a long time and is a great source of just knife knowledge and like industry knowledge and really really cool guy and uh they're good people so it's nice to buy from good people <laughs> so if you're looking for a knife and cutlery shop has it in stock then they're absolutely one of my absolute top most recommended dealers so check them out check this out if you're interested these are really really cool i did mention in my unboxing of that one as well that like a lot of the cases in this realm like the pelican cases with now pack inserts and stuff like that um they can end up being quite a bit more expensive than this because oftentimes just the case will cost about this but then if you're getting like a cut foam insert it ends up being more and so i think these are a pretty good value uh, people did comment of course like the the harbor freight cases are cheaper with the pluck foam and that's what i used for a long time before <laughs> these now that's literally what i moved my knives into these from um and those are good but like the pluck foam isn't quite as nice in my experience i started to have pieces of it like drift and then i'm having to like glue it in place and it's just not as like solid long term but it worked really well and those are cheap too i'm just saying uh, compared to what i would consider the actual competitors with like good cut foam and uh, these cases I think in general are also a little nicer. I prefer the latches. They feel a little bit better to me. Um, yeah, it's. I, I think these are a tremendous value for, for what you get compared to what the actual competitors are out there. So anyway, this is my new tan one. Thank you so much to Jeff and people over at Cutlery Shop. This is really exciting and really cool. And uh, I'm excited to start throwing my knives in and organizing everything the way that it most makes sense and it's just it's nice to have a lot of knife storage that's one of those things that like i think a lot of people getting into the hobby are resistant to spending money on like a good case or on like good tools to work on their knives or a good sharpening system and all that kind of stuff and i get it like if you have a limited budget to spend on knives like i do then you want to spend it all on knives and i'm very lucky that jeff sent this to me um but I was literally, before he sent me that orange one, I was already like pretty heavily researching <laughs> what I was going to get next. And I was leaning towards that one and literally was going to buy it. And then he just said he'd send it to me for free. So um, I literally, every bit of me would have spent my money on that orange one and would have felt that it was worth it. Um, so 
take all that for what it's worth. I think these are really cool. And there will be a full review on them soon where I'll talk about how I've set up my knives in them and kind of what goes where. These are nice if you've got longer knives because my longer ones specifically don't fit in there if I want to close the lid. So now I'll be able to have a place for my big knives, a place for my little knives, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to figure out where I put what. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Jeff, the people over at Cutlery Shop. Again, they'll be linked down below. You guys are awesome. I'll see you soon.